I'm going to talk about the non lesica expressions for a minute. That why there are so many. Uh, at the beginning of the speech, I gave sort of a scenario about how the attempt to synchronize the individual sounds may have actually resulted in music and group singing. But the purpose of these non-lexical vocalizations do a bit more than I mentioned earlier. Among other things, these functions, they buy time while they, the, the workers think about new songs to raise. So in that sense, these are gap fillers. They add some kind of comic relief in the way that they are uttered and they are vocalized. They help to provide a steady tempo, encouraging group participation. Here is another example of songs, basically highlighting the use of the non non lexical vocalizations, as I mentioned, and how they provide the reference points for coordinated activity. <laughs> So actually, if you analyze the songs, you realize that all these non lexical vocalizations are those ones that occur at fixed intervals. And it is actually these ones that establish the pulse in the music, and that helps to provide a reference point for the coordinated activity. The parts that are um, lexical words, they overlap, and the calls, they overlap, and they are actually not uh, in line with the tempo of the work itself. So the non lexical vocalizations are short, repetitive, and they keep the pulse of the work going, and they provide a steady tempo.